Have you ever wondered why the Earth, our home, is often referred to as Mother Earth, as opposed to, say, Father Earth or Uncle Earth? It's because, much like a mother, the Earth nurtures, provides and sustains us. She doesn't rain down bombs on us like fathers and uncles, but what have we here on Spaceship Earth done, positively, in return? We haven't even given her a lanyard. Are we caring for our mother as we should, or are we gradually or rapidly depleting and spoiling her resources, leaving her frail and fragile. Stewardship is a familiar term, but let me reiterate its significance through a story. Imagine yourself at a beautiful beach. The sun is setting, casting a warm orange glow across the sky. You're walking along the shoreline, your footprints making a trail behind you. Suddenly you notice a plastic bottle of mellow yellow, say, or mountain dew dew, washed up on the shore. What would you do? Would you pick it up and dispose of it properly in a hazardous waste bin? Or would you walk past it, leaving it to the mercy of the ocean waves and flipper? Your response to this scenario is a reflection of your stewardship. Stewardship isn't just about picking up a piece of trash from the beach, although that's a good start. It's about understanding that we have a responsibility to manage and protect our natural resources. In 2023, we are at a turning point. We have seen the devastating effects of climate change, and it's time for us to take action. Our planet needs us to become stewards, to protect and conserve our resources for future generations. Let me share another story. This one is about a winemaker named Gerard Bertrand. He practices biodynamic winemaking, a process that respects the rhythms of nature and the environment. His story is a testament to the fact that stewardship can be practiced in every aspect of our lives, from the way we grow our food to the way we run our businesses. Stewardship is a value, a duty and a commitment. It's about understanding the interconnectedness of everything and making conscious decisions that reflect this understanding. It's about taking responsibility for our actions and their impact on the world around us. So. How can you practice stewardship in your daily life? Start by making small changes. Reduce your consumption, reuse what you can and recycle whenever possible. Support businesses that value sustainability and stewardship. Be mindful of your water usage and energy consumption. Remember that every action counts. No effort is too small when it comes to protecting our planet. The life of the Earth is indeed the Holy Grail, and we are the Grail Bearers. We are the Stewards. So, my dear friends, as we journey through life, let us remember our responsibility. Let's honor Mother Earth by being good stewards, by caring for her as she has cared for us. After all, we only have one Earth, Let's make sure we leave it better than we found it. Thank you for listening. May we all strive to be better stewards of our beautiful planet.